Okay, so I'm gonna probably play this at two speed for a little while. No, let's just Okay. Welcome to Summoner's Pit. So standard stuff, uh, let's find out okay. Starting items. We have uh, Leona Ezreal bot lane, a Talon in the mid lane, a Graves jungle, and a Vladimir top. On the opponent's side, we have Riven top, Hecarim jungling, quite scary that one, uh, Victor in the middle, skills very well, Vayne and Fresh. Let's speed things up again and Minions get to the laning phase. So Graves wanted to start at uh, the Raptors and then do red and stuff. So I'm just gonna throw an E to give bonus damage and maybe an or two. And we go away because creeps start dying at two minutes and two seconds in top and bot lane. And we don't want to miss out on that. This patch, we got introduced something interesting in that um, we now have quests, and once I have completed my quest, I'm gonna take okay, action going down. I see Fresh and Vayne getting uh, to lane a little bit late, so I'll just jump on Fresh, because I know that um, Ezreal's gonna be able to uh, back me up, and uh, she was still a little bit out of position. So we end up winning the trade, Leona has way more resistances than Fresh does because he relies on uh, soul collecting, so early game he's actually surprisingly squishy. And here uh, we're level 2, they're still level 1 because they got to lane late. He doesn't respect the um, well, CC lock, uh, hugs the wall, I connect the um, Q him right away and that's that. So. We're off to a very strong start. Um, Fresh is missing out on important EXP. We're not gonna get the kill there, but uh, even if I tagged her and took a third shot, uh, Ezreal would have gotten some good damage out. And Leona is like the second highest base health regen in the game. I think Darius has better health regen, so I'm a lot tankier than Fresh is. And we're ahead. So at this point in time, it's uh, 3 minutes 20 seconds, I'm a little scared of uh, Hecarim showing up. That's why I went to ward the river. And now I just want us to um, back up so that they feel confident in laning against us, so we can kill someone again. So instead of just camping the brush, I'm uh, just waiting for them to hug the wall or something. But I also don't want to just go in half acidly and lose the trades, because being condemned by Vin would be pretty bad. Okay, now I see um, Vin went for a CS over there, and she's just gonna die there. She flashes and dies to the auto. So I'm um, constantly looking at the health of my minions, moreover than the enemy's placement, so that I know when Vayne is going to position to finish off a creep, and then I throw my skill shot and either she doesn't get the creep, or she gets tagged by my E and that girl just goes ham and she dies. Which is exactly what happened there. So now I know that for 5 minutes Vayne isn't going to have flash, and we're thinking about going back here. But um, Ezreal decides to stay and Fresh just... I have no idea what he was doing there. But okay. He just walked up and got really harassed. So looking at the map... I think Grapes has been topped twice. And uh, they probably dove and Vladimir died, yeah. Not ideal, but uh, still pretty decent. I go back, I have money for a side stone, and I get my sweeping lens. As far as roll, he finishes his tier and gets a sheen, which is really, really good for this point in the game. 
His poke is just gonna be insane. He has like 78 AD and how much of that is base? Can I see here? No. It's still gonna be a hell of a lot. Maybe I can see over on Shin. 61 bonus damage. Yeah, it's gonna be hitting for like a truckload right now if he connects the Q. So, Hecarim flanked this and we um, did switch over onto Hecarim. And um, I exhausted him because they were focusing me quite heavily at that point. Now uh, Ezreal needs to back up. And um, Crush gets a little bit too close. They probably could have killed Ezreal there if she had manned up a little bit, but uh, she didn't. And now I just need to like front line and hope for Ezreal to get some health back by autoing creeps. Not sure if he has um, a mastery that um, gives him sustain, but he might. Didn't really ask, so I just assumed he would. Anyways, if I see him walk up, I have to walk up, otherwise she will uh, kill him, obviously. He's being a little over aggressive, but uh, he's had enough that uh, as long as he just trades evenly, we'll probably be okay. This point in time, Graves is um, being really aggressive in the jungle, and we have vision, so not too worried. But I'm still gonna put this here just in case Hecram walks over the plant, explosive plant. Because he's going to be hitting 6 soon, and most Hecarims like to use that to get an easy kill. Now I see a stop, so... These are going pretty well. This point... Uh, I need to go on to Vayne right away. And I do, and uh... Yeah. That was a good hook by Fresh, but uh... They're just way too behind right now. That was a little bit silly from Ezreal. Um, I saw an opportunity to um, flash, auto, stun the vein and let my W finish her off. So I take it. And here I'm thinking, oh, uh, Flash might kill me if he connects, and he connects. But he didn't use the second part of his Q, and this one ranged auto attack from a creep is not going to be enough to kill me. And I level up. So that was pretty good for me. Not so much for Ezreal, but he died to Fresh, so... Things are still going good. Not at time 6, we can do some real stuff. Okay, so we know that Fresh is missing. I tell team that Fresh is missing. I don't think they want to lane against us anymore. Because, well... This. So I see that uh, Fresh is over here. I ping that he's over there. Not sure if Talon's gonna give a damn. Uh, maybe he does. He tries to kill Fresh. Let's see what happens. Uh, me. Still, I know that Vayne is uh, alone here. And if I can just connect an E. Then uh, that connects a Q and that connects an R and she is dead. And I that don't connect that one. And uh, Fresh didn't go back to base apparently. He really should have. Not sure what he was doing. Maybe sweeping his own jungle or something. Anyways, we got a lot of damage on the thing here. Then she ult and uh, boom. She flashes, but she still dies to my auto attack because it already began. A little bit of a silly dive. But uh, Vin died and Fresh got a kill on Ezreal, so that's fine by me. I don't have any vision in the river, so I don't know if I'm being flanked or not. I don't know where Hecarim is, so... Just gonna make sure that there's absolutely nothing over here. Not that there should be, but uh, Fresh was outside of lane for a long time. And back to uh, Beth I go. So, at this point in time, I think that we probably can just 
take dragon and fight them. Ezreal's kind of uh, huge right now that he finished his uh, mana moon. And I have like R in 28 seconds. So I still don't know where Fresh is again. Telling team that uh, Fresh is missing. And oh my goodness, that Hecarim almost died to Talon. Talon's doing some good damage, I guess. Top lane is just trading kills more or less evenly, but uh, giving a uh, shutdown to Riven and red buff is like really, really, really bad. So just go War Dragon. Our jungler just died. Not sure where Hecarim is. He. Uh, Definitely went to base because he was almost dead, so I don't want him to like sneak a dragon right now. Fresh is still missing, so I'm, uh, I'm thinking of diving her, and uh, Ezreal's poke is just ridiculous right now. So I go ward just in case we get um, flanked. I'm thinking of warding here, but um, Vin is starting to back up, and I'm thinking if I can connect, then uh, yeah. Boom, easy. I do connect and Ezreal um, aligns his ult with my stun lock. Fresh has been MIA for quite a while, I'm not sure where he is, maybe I uh, can check. Okay, so he's in mid lane, he's probably just, honestly he's probably just uh, arguing with Vayne and the jungler and the rest of the team because this is like... Mm, about gold 4, gold 5, some, sh some stuff like that. So I see Hecarim, and uh, I have no idea what he was trying to do. Because I just warded him, and he just committed suicide against us. No idea what he's trying to do here. So we just killed our jungler. I'm thinking of doing dragon right now. But uh, Ezreal has other plans, and I see a victor. And victor obviously didn't have awards. He... Um, didn't move like he had any vision, so he just dies here. And after he just dies, um, we just push mid lane a little bit and decide to do Herald. Because we've got. Uh, oh, right. First we kill Turret though, because it's really low. It's always good to push advantage when you can get um, the outer turrets as early as possible. Ribs did good work top lane, we finish off the middle turret, and then we go take Herald, now that uh, it's got a summon item, and does cool stuff with it, pushing power. So I'm having a really good game so far, and this is new Herald. Looks uh, pretty cool, got like 10,000 HP or 12,000 or something, yeah 12.4k HP. So we kill it, and um, because it uh, doesn't have that cooldown, when it drops the buff and you pick it up, and it was my first time doing it, I actually accidentally picked it up right away, because I happened to be where it spawns. So I'm like, well then, I'm actually gonna go top lane with this, and use it since you guys want me to use it, because team wanted me to use it, and yeah. So I see that uh, Riven's alone top lane, and she's Probably not too behind that she will um, avoid fighting uh, Vladimir head on because she just doesn't want to get poked out. So she, if Vladimir walks up to her, she's just going to wall in him because that's what Ravens do. And if they don't do that, they lose to Vladimir. So I just hide here for a little while, and um, Ravens pushing. I can see that she's a little bit push, and then I just face up the mountain, Vladimir. I flash Q her. Because I want to get my stuff out as soon as possible while uh, she's in range of Vladimir. Then I exhaust her after she flashes away in order to get in range of his Q. I use the um, Herald thingamajig. And now we're going to kill a couple of turrets. Meanwhile, Vayn and Fresh are mid lane, but uh, Graves and Talon are doing pretty well there. Wave clearing, so. While Talon is. So we still have Herald, and uh, enemies are still kind of in mid lane. They should just walk up and uh, flank us, but uh, they're not doing that. 
and um, if this girl gets a little bit too close, she already knows what's gonna happen. What has happened already twice is gonna happen. Uh, so, I know that Vladimir is really slippery, and I don't really want to fight 2e3. I don't have any more alt, I don't have exhaust, I don't have flash, I don't really want to uh, give them a, a shutdown. Grizz is here, however, so... That's gonna get um, whoever I can in range, and uh, Revan just pieces out, so... Yeah. That happened. Okay, now I really should go back to base. I have, like, no mana. What am I even doing? I put more there, just in case you want to get rid of Kreski with tanks. Um, Ezreal and Talon apparently pushed middle, so that's good. And there's a vein here. Now I'm just checking if they have any vision in their own jungle. And we go to the dragon, finally. And after that, I should have. There we go. So I go to base. I finish Murtreds. I get um, most of my Frozen Heart. I upgrade my Oracle Lands, and I have like forty-five percent CDR. No, for okay. Where where do I see my CDR again? Uh, cooldown reduction. Cooldown. Okay, twenty percent right now. Okay, let's uh, let's back up a little bit. Okay, uh, spinning up a little bit, just so we can get to the screen. So, Tom and Victor are whiffling. Ezreal goes like really deep there, and uh, he's forced to flash out. Um, I just up there, but then I pay attention to Riven, so that she doesn't uh, definitely my backline. And that's what has this high BG apparently. Yep, that's an IBG and a BF card, so. We take middle to it. We take mid and head. I need to walk up. And uh, she can end into both turrets, which was a real good condemn, but uh. I'm just way too tanky right now, and the uh, team cleans her up. I was a little bit scared that she would be able to interrupt his back, so I cancel mine. And right now she probably could have killed me if she had enough CDR, but she doesn't. I don't think she does. Yeah, all she has is a uh, bit of acidity and uh, maw. So uh, my guys are trying to flank here. I still have flank with mana. She just blew up. I didn't even connect the up so she died. Okay, I see a Hackman. Hackman dies. And that game was just done. That was game.